So guys, so today we're making a quick video on uh, modular exponentiation. So if you haven't heard of uh, modular exponentiation before, I'm going to quickly explain it right now, what it is. So let's consider the case where you want to multiply, uh, do the uh, exponent of an expression, say x to the b uh, mod n. Okay, so let's say for example we have 10 to the power of 231 and then we do mod 4. So in this case we would multiply 10, uh, this would be multiplied 231 times, which is a lot. And uh, we're going to try to find a trick to reduce the amount of times we have to multiply the number by itself. So um, maybe you recall that when you have exponents you can just uh, multiply, divide this by 2 and multiply and then you add the exponents. So what we could do is, um, let's say, just make it easier, we have 20 here. So we can have 10 to the power of 10 mod 4 times 10 to the power of 10 mod 4 here. And then we just mod everything again over here. So this way, now, we split this up into two different expressions. But now maybe we can split this even further. We can do 5 here, 5 here, and then keep on dividing and conquering downwards, and then you have to multiply less. And you can catch this result because you're going to be doing this once, right? So you don't actually have to repeat the calculation again because you're literally computing the same thing. So you can catch this result over here. So you only do it once, and then you slowly reduce the time complexity logarithmically. So let's try to define a function here. We're going to say uh, exponent, and we're going to have an x. We're going to have a uh, we're going to have a b, and we're going to have a n. Just the modulus. So we can express this as a recursive relation. So we're continuously going to try to divide into two. But if it's odd, then we have to isolate one of the b terms, and then the, then the remainder of the number will be even. If um, So let's do the base case. So if uh, b equals equals 1, you can just simply return x mod uh, n like that. Then if b is odd, Then what we do is we we isolate one one term and we do exponent of x b minus one n and now we mod all of this by n as well. Otherwise we have our answer as exponent x b divided by two n return answer times answer mod n. So here we have it. Let's give this a quick shot. So we're going to try to see if we have any uh, syntax errors. So we're going to do an exponent 2 to the 3 mod. Let's try 9 at the beginning just to see if we get 8. And we have an issue. What is the issue? Oh, we should have turned on. Okay, and yeah, this should also be long. Okay, so we have eight. Oh, so it actually works. Okay, uh, let's try to make this larger. Yeah, so it seems reasonable. Um, this is basically it. So the idea is you just want to divide and conquer, and then we finally get a time complexity of roughly O log uh, B for the multiplication, assuming. Uh, modulus is of 1. So yeah, this is uh, modular exponentiation. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a very simple concept, but it's very useful because um, you greatly reduce the amount of computations you do. So now we could even do some, maybe maybe we can do 1,000. Oh, there we go. Wow, 175 milliseconds. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching.